today is Sunday. I just finished working. I think you guys left me right here in the previous vlog. So yeah, I was just editing and just, you know, music and that sort of stuff. Now I'm going to head downstairs and make dinner. It's 6.36 right now, so I'm pretty hungry. Didn't have... Wait, did I have lunch? I don't think so. I think I only had breakfast. So starving so i'm gonna head downstairs make some break um that breakfast <laughs> make some dinner so yeah let's go we're gonna use curry garlic powder onion powder a little cumin salt and pepper Remember that garlic we made in last week's vlog? I'm just gonna take one out. Just place that right there. We're gonna throw it in the pan. Sides are gonna be bok choy. We're gonna steam this down with the white rice that's currently steaming and um, Be out of here in 15 minutes. Oh my god.
Good morning. Okay, so before I head out, and I'm kind of running a little bit behind, like I need to leave the house in five minutes. Um, wearing this sweatshirt for warmth, but also it matches today. The font matches my leggings and yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna make a little mint tea because it helps with bloat, bloating, but it's also cold as heck here. So I just want something to warm me up. Um, and I can't have coffee because I have an appointment tomorrow and you can't drink caffeine 24 hours before the appointment. I'm gonna take you guys, so um, don't worry. And Freck Beauty sent me this tumbler, it's so cute. Um, so I'm just gonna put a mint tea bag in here. So drinking tea in the morning is truly like elite. It's not an iced coffee, it's not a mocha frappe latte, it's a nice cup of hot tea. When I tell you your stomach will be on flat, you're gonna feel so comfortable in your tummy and everything you eat that day is just gonna digest properly. Um, I don't know, I just got caught up in coffee culture, I feel like, and I just forgot just how amazing tea is for the gut. Amazing. But yeah, I feel like the scrunchie is not staying in my hair, it's too silky. <sighs> but I don't have time to run upstairs and get another one. All right, let's go pack my gym. Ew. That's not okay. I didn't wash the lid properly and it's like soapy. Who is that? All right, tea, check. For my bag, this is what I'm gonna be carrying. This is a little pouch. I just carry it like a shoulder bag. Um, I just like to have a little fragrance just in case I need it. Um, I don't know why the scrunchie's in here, but I'm just gonna take it. Um, Pilates socks, AirPods, which we don't even need because we don't listen to music in there, but yeah, that's all I have. All right, guys, I'm back from Pilates. That class today was so hard. So hard. Um, I won't be back in the studio until next week, Monday, so... I'm not mad that it was really hard because I won't be going back for four days. So this was a really nice class to end my week off with. But it was intense. It was like primarily lots of leg stuff and lots of core. And I don't know, doing core stuff on the floor, like in your, you know, like on your floor versus doing it on a reformer that's literally moving and sliding and having to keep it still with solely your core strength is nothing <sighs> as i was driving home i was still shaking like i could feel myself just like shaking it was so crazy um but i got a protein smoothie but i'm also heating up some chicken foot soup i made chicken foot soup for dinner last night so i'm gonna also have that because it is one o'clock um, but first, I'm just gonna get started on working. So yeah, I'm just gonna work. Um, hopefully I can get this done in under 30 minutes, send it over so I can enjoy my afternoon. And also work on a YouTube video. I'm trying, I'm trying to go back to posting three videos a week on YouTube. I know, like, do I have a death wish? Like, that's so much content. I haven't been on that level of, <laughs> um, consistency nor productivity in a long time so I feel like I should have started off with a more like a realistic schedule like you know like once a week <laughs> but no I was like I want three videos a week no exceptions um, so I have the third one ready to go live and I'm sorry I'm working on the third one that needs to go live by today or tomorrow the latest um, then I need to work on Sunday's weekly vlog. Then I need to, then I already have the two additional videos for next week ready as well. So I just need to work on the vlog for next week. But I also wanna keep ahead of the game. So I'm gonna film the videos today and tomorrow for the following week, you know what I mean? So that's the only way I, I can be productive. Um, on YouTube is like really batch filming and then just you know pump them out like randomly um, In terms of like TikTok and Instagram it's very difficult to do that on those platforms Just because those platforms are solely based on 
what sound is trending, what's trending, what are people talking about. Um, so I just record things on the fly for TikTok for sure. Like whatever I'm like scrolling, I'm like, oh, this looks fun. I'll do it. Um, outside of like my usual stuff, like makeup, routine and stuff like that. Um, for Instagram, I kind of just avoid the app to be quite honest. I just post when I feel like posting or if I'm like contractually obligated to. Instagram, I was so comfortable posting there and I enjoyed it, but now it's become way too like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but it's like, I don't know, it's like off. It's almost like it's rigged, you know? TikTok, I feel like is just a lot more easier, which is funny because I always thought TikTok was harder. But, you know, whatever. from going to Pilates for what like seven days I feel like my body is transforming like before my eyes and it's so crazy that Pilates is definitely like one of those things where a lot of people would think it's trendy it's just a way to put on your little lululemon and like your little sets and go do little stretches at least that's what I feel like a lot of people think it's a low impact workout, but it, you really see the results. Like number one, look at my arms. As a matter of fact, I haven't been wearing sleeveless tops at all because of the fact that my arms were just not, you know, but look, I've been going to class for like seven days and I feel my body's transforming before my eyes. And I love Pilates though, because it's again, low impact. It's not like you're in there, <laughs> you're not doing that. You're in there just, I mean, you're shaking and you're struggling, but I feel like it's really, it will really tone you up. But yeah, don't mind this big wet spot here. I spilled a little bit of my smoothie and I had to wipe it out, so that's going to dry. But I have a lot of PR and one just came, so let me go and get that. All right, so let's get into these boxes. And before we get started, look what I have. I have a box opener, okay? I got a pack of like seven. They're clouds, I thought it was so cute. Um, I have one in my office for when I'm doing unboxings up there and then one in the kitchen and one here. Um, so yeah, I have a ton of PR though, like so many boxes. So let's just do a really quick PR unboxing because I feel like I hate when it piles up because it stresses me out a lot. And whatever I don't want, I put it in a little box for when I'm gonna do a giveaway it's about that time for another one i got so many pr over the holidays um so i have a lot to give away this first one is from grande lash it's what it looks like it's a really beautiful packaging i probably won't use this though but i've heard great things about them i have naturally really long and beautiful lashes thank you lord um <laughs> <laughs> Not to brag, but I stopped wearing lash extensions about what like three two years now and um, I did do them recently like the classics, but I quickly just wore it for the wedding I had to attend and then I soaked them right off and I don't intend on doing them again unless it's for a special occasion um, so yeah, I think with doing that my Lashes just became healthier over time and my brows. I'm growing them out and they're looking pretty good, but Tomorrow we're going to go get them micro shaded Which I'm kind of nervous about but also excited about because I feel like my brows I just want them to just be there and just look um, What do you call it? Just be there. So it is a semi-permanent like thing. It lasts three years which is the nerve-wracking part, I'm not gonna lie. It's very nerve-wracking because I could hate it and you can't just wipe it off, it's gonna be there. So I'm kinda nervous, but I'm also excited to just not have to do my brows for a while. I'm also nervous too about the pain because I feel like micro-shading is like a form of tattooing. And I'm afraid of needles or like anything like that, but it should be painless, so. That grande lash and brow is going to be in my giveaway box. Next thing is from Benefit. They have this like this packaging which I think is so cool. It's 
like that little mesmerizing thing. Okay, what's this about? Oops, this way. Ooh, it's their Whoop Lash. This is a lash enhancing serum. Yeah, it says that this is retailing for $52. I feel like that's a very small. For $52, this better be a serum that transformed my lashes, but I'm not gonna use it. Um, and then this is a mascara, 24 hour full fan effect. Um, yeah, I don't really need any more mas mascara, so I'm gonna add this to on my giveaway pile as well, but huge thanks to Benefit. They always send me really great stuff. And they always reach out as well to see if there's anything that I need more of. Um, this one is from Fenty. I don't know how I got on Fenty Skins PO. Well, I know how. I'm on the Sephora squad. <laughs> but I'm so happy to be on Fenty Skins PR list and Fenty Beauty in general. Before the Sephora squad, I really wanted to be on their PR so badly. So they sent that to me. It looks like that. I'm definitely going to try this out. Meet your bright skin besties. And then over here we have the Hydra Visor. It's a, I already have this. So I'm gonna put this in my giveaway pile. Ooh, this is from NARS, guys. <laughs> I was like, who sent me Chanel? <laughs> but um, this is from NARS. Okay, let's see. Is it a bag? Is it a shoe? <gasps> I, I pushed the, that could have been really bad. The box thing was going towards my hand. I'm still learning how to use it. I do miss my knives, but <laughs> no. Ooh, listen, NARS always has the most like iconic like packaging always. <gasps> I don't know what they sent me, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so first they sent me the Afterglow Sensual Lipstick. They sent me a couple shades of this. So there's a ton of shades. Um, five to be exact, or I'm sorry, six. Okay, they sent me a couple lipsticks. Love. I don't know yet which shade I'm going to keep, but I'm not gonna keep them all because you guys know me, I barely ever wear color. I mean, knowing me, I'd probably just wear 201 because it's the only nude. But let's see, because it might just be a nude that's not even, you know, like a nude for me. Oh, the packaging though is adorable. Look at that. So cute. Wait. Oh, it's a pull. It's a pull. Oh, oh, okay. This is a really good nude. This is a really pretty nude. Okay. I. I'm gonna just keep one. Actually, I might keep one other. Hmm. I'm conf I'm debating Aragon, which is 217, which is like a very spice looking red. You guys know I'm not really an eyeshadow person. If I'm being honest, I'm not. But let's see. It's a really pretty packaging though. Let me just see the shades. If you guys ever win my giveaways and you see fingerprints, just I don't I didn't use it. I just like opened it. <laughs> um okay. This is really pretty. It's really pretty, but I just feel like I have similar shades in other palettes and I just don't want to have a ton of stuff, you know? Next up we have the afterglow. Okay, blush. Now we're talking. Okay, so the blushes are in that oh the packaging for the blush is adorable. Oh, I'm keeping this. Aragon is a very beautiful shade. And I think I'm gonna keep the matching lipstick as well, just because I know it's gonna eat. I feel like with the blush, I'm more confident to wear it. This next shade is called Orgasm Rush. Okay, is there a matching lipstick for this? No, okay. Look at this color. Are you kidding me? So this next package is from Brigio? Brigio? Why can't I say that name? I don't know why I'm like blanking. ColourPop sent me this PR package and it has the Twilight thing in it. Okay, fine, I'll watch Twilight again tonight. <laughs> sure. We got the eyeliners, we got 
I don't know anyone in my life who's a true Twilight fan because I would really send this to someone. I wonder what made them do a Twilight collaboration because Twilight is an old movie or are they coming out with a remake? Not really online as much so I might have missed the announcement for that but I'm very shocked at why they did a Twilight collab. I hate the boxes that have this. It is so scary to pull them. I feel like I'm gonna break a nail. This is from Lisa Elridge. Very interesting lipstick. I wish you guys could see this up close, but it has almost like, it's like weird. Wow, wow. It's, it's almost like a fabric. So it's a velvet lipstick and it literally has that velvet texture. Insane. So there's a bunch of products here. I'm not familiar with this brand. I'm gonna have to like research their stuff. That way I can figure out what my shades are because they sent me a ton of stuff. And so instead of like, you know, opening everything, I will just look online to see what the, you know, my shades are and if the ones that I like are included in this box. And I will just keep that. Oh my gosh, though, look at this eyeshadow palette. This is the cute. I love the packaging. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Guys, this is so adorable. This is the cutest little packaging ever. Open the one that's called Myth. Um, so it has a lot of, um, I would say, plummy shades. So very plummy, you know, like a dark plum, a burgundy, a pink, a purple. Um, this one is more of a, okay, this one has more of a greenish, bluish, nude taupe shade. So I feel like I would do this. Elevated Glow, she sent a couple lipsticks and glosses. Oh, I'm curious about the gloss. I'm very curious about the gloss. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. The packaging is adorable. I'm gonna try the gloss on though. I, I love a clear, so. Oh wow. Even though it's clear, it has a little bit of frosting in it, which really came through when I applied it. Usually, they don't really, you don't really get that frost. Look. Mmm. This is another gloss. It's in the shade called, called Affair. Affair. And it's a pretty nude. Oh, wow. I love a gloss. You guys know this, so. I'm definitely gonna unbox those. So to my right are just all the items I will be keeping and then these items are what I'm gonna be, well, the items in front of me are what I'm going to be adding to my giveaway box. And then once I, you know, accumulate enough things and I can do like maybe three, four boxes, that's when I will do a giveaway. Just so you know, just so everyone can get a, little, a chance to, um, you know, win something at least. But okay, that's it for now. Let me just clean this stuff up because I made quite a mess. So on Friday, I had my micro shading appointment with Ebony Artistry. I've been following her work for quite some time. She's located just outside the Atlanta area. She's a really lovely person. She's so sweet. I mean, she walked me through the entire process. Before she got started, she explained what exactly we will be doing and as she was doing what she was doing she would explain things to me and I'm, a, I'm quite an inquisitive person so I had a lot of questions that she gladly answered which, which is really really nice and um, here she's just mapping out my brows that she's going to measure them shape them make sure that like everything is good to go before we get started on the um, the micro shading. So micro shading is definitely a semi-permanent brow filling. It's basically like tattoo brows, but not that cringy one that was popping like back in the day. These are going to be softer and more natural. Now the finished product today is going to be a lot darker and dramatic than what it's going to eventually fade to be. But um, she used a dark brown shade and um, it was a pretty comfortable process. I mean, there was some pain, I feel like, but she gladly applied more numbing, in, numbing cream in those areas that I felt a bit of sensation. But here's what it sounds like when it's currently being, you know, done. Yeah, so it's like a tattoo and um, 
Yeah, after we put some dye on top so my brows would receive it because my body was really trying to reject the color. I think it's because of the retinol in my system. Um, this is what they look like. So they just look really, what do you describe this as? Like just really perfect, done, really soft, kind of tender still. So because I was on a retinol, well, she does recommend you discontinue use of retinols for a couple weeks prior, but me booking this appointment was very impulsive, so I didn't really consider that, so I went anyways. Um, I did have a lot of sensitivity, and as a result, we're kind of like anticipating like the pigment not to stick really well in certain areas. So for my six to eight week touch up, she did say that we might need to kind of go over a couple areas but the healing process I mean I could scab I could flake it could be really itchy it could be really this or that but so far no pain my brows feel completely normal um, I do have my aftercare kit and everything so I guess um, on the vlogs you'll see how it heals I'm really excited though if this is a glimpse of what my life is gonna be looking like without my makeup I mean I'll take it it looks so much better and once I do my get my skin like cleared up with the brows, I think everything's gonna look so nice. And it does last two to three years, so you know it's semi permanent in a way. So yeah, right now though, I decided to take a break from working, and I'm just gonna clean out my makeup um, storage because I have a lot of makeup products that I do think is best that I kind of just throw out because they're either old, I don't wear them. Um, just to make room for new stuff, you know, because I have so many new products that I unboxed like yesterday, for example. I don't want to just add those on top of old things that I don't use. So let's do a really quick makeup storage clear out. Um, just also clear my head. I feel like I have so much work to do and I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. So just doing some sort of like organization cleaning stuff like really helps to I'm getting ready for the day right now. Um, it's noon and I just woke up. It's Saturday. I slept in because I wasn't feeling too great. I was not feeling too hot. 
but I think I just needed a little extra sleep because now I feel amazing. So amazing that I'm um, getting ready to just go out. Um, I want to do a few things. I want to try a, a new restaurant today. Also, first time doing my makeup with my brows already done. And I must say, I must say, I'm kind of happy with it now. I kind of have a little outfit together. I'm wearing this top that I got from Commence. So it's just like a really cozy sweater. And I have my white Aritzia pants on, but let me just get my jewelry together first. Then I can show you guys a full outfit. Um, I feel like I'm overdressing for where lunch is concerned, but I just want to be warm. That's my priority. Also, I got these two vintage watches. I always get asked about my watch, my watches and stuff like that. This is like a watch from Citizens. And then, um, yeah, I got, I get these vintage. They're like maybe like $200 or $150. Very inexpensive and they're actually really great quality. This one is, is my absolute favorite. I don't know if you guys can tell, it looks like a bracelet. So really nice. If you guys are into, um, you know, vintage watches and stuff, you will really enjoy this. Okay, so so this is the outfit. It's just the sweater again from Commence. Um, looks pretty nice. I don't love the color, so I feel like I wouldn't wear it very often. Don't love this color on me at all. And then white trousers. I'm just gonna wear my Laura Piana. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the outfit. For fragrance, I'm gonna wear this fragrance that I sprayed yesterday. I was spraying this yesterday to kind of test it out. Obsessed. I smell so good, so I'm wearing this today. Okay, I decided to change. I'm just wearing the top half of a set that I got from Dish with some leggings from Uniqlo. Um, my mini pochette will be my bag and these Celine sunglasses, which are big enough but clear enough to just wear the entire day because you can still see my eyes so it's not really you know it's fine um yeah this is the outfit i'm just gonna fix my unit a little bit so it looks more natural it's looking a little bit wavy right right now and yeah i also have to change my fragrance because this outfit doesn't go with what i was trying to wear so yeah let me fix figure that out might just wear my locker off Time to just f Dior store. Um, the bags are so beautiful in person. This one is beautiful. Um, the pattern is such a sight to see, but I decided to go with a classic. I can't wait to share with you guys what I got. These also, these little bags are adorable. Really great for like really quick outings, I think. Oh, this blue, really pretty, but I just feel like I wouldn't get enough wear. Okay, I am now home from my shopping. It was such a fun day out. The weather was, wasn't was like great, meaning wasn't warm or anything, but at least it wasn't rainy, windy or anything. It was just cold and sunny, which is a combo I honestly can live with. So, by the way, ignore all the empty garbage bags I have in this office. I honestly just keep them here because I'm always cleaning. But um, <laughs> I'm wearing these busted slippers. These are um, the slippers I got at the La Mer Spa. They are filthy. They're so gross, but I love to wear them. They are just really, I don't know, 
um, they just come in handy, I guess. But also, speaking of slippers, I also got these slippers from Amazon. It's basically a reflexology type of shoe. If you have a lot of foot pain, whether you wear a lot of high heels, maybe a really high arch or you're flat footed, whatever your, your issues are, you should be able to benefit from this slipper. It's pretty interesting actually, it's quite painful to walk in. So if you guys have serious foot issues, um, I don't know what issues I would say to avoid the shoes with, but they're very intense. It's like a foot massage, meanwhile hitting those pressure points, so it gets a bit intense. I try to walk around in it or stand in it for about 15 minutes every day. Does it make a difference in how my foot feels? Yes. How? I don't know, but it really just eases the, the pressure, you know? So I really like these. I got these on Amazon. I'll put it in my storefront if you're interested. So yeah, from the mall, I got like two things. One really special gift. So first thing I got was from House of CV. I honestly don't shop here unless I go in stores. And I was at Fifth, so I went to Fifth. Um, but they have a House of CV store there. They actually invited me to their event of their store opening weeks back. Um, I wasn't able to go because I was in New York. <laughs> so, um, I just got a pair of sweats from there. They have this bluish, grayish color. So, right now in this light, it looks like a dark teal. But in certain lights, it looks gray, like on camera. So, it's a very bluish gray. I just got this. I saw that they came out with sweats and I was like, yes, I need it. Um, because I know it's going to be sweats that fit your body nicely and I'm such a sweat girl But the only sweats I'm able to wear are the ones by by Lezzy the label and I don't really call and I don't really consider them sweats because they're so nice I wear those to like actual places like I wear those out out so I wanted a sweat for like sweat things like running out really quick for groceries running out really quick you know what sweats are for like that's what i wanted sweats for so i just got these sweats that they don't look frumpy and like weird i actually really do like them so i got this color i wanted the lighter shade but decided not to because i'm starting to, to realize i don't wear my whites well anymore or in lighter shades in general all my lighter clothes when i wear them they get so messy and it's because i haven't been wearing white a lot so i'm a bit out of practice so i get darker colors now because so i just got a set so that was the pants and this is the top i will link it below for you but it is so nice i just saw film something really quick and then we'll come down so yeah i just got a sweat set from house of cb and i really loved it in stores i thought it looked really good i was on their site earlier this morning because i knew i was going to go there to the mall and i know they have a new um, store there so i was like you know let me see what new they have on their site most of what i wanted clothing wise or like their cute dresses wise they didn't have in stores so that was easy but i did see these sweats on their site this morning they're kind of pricey for sweats but after feeling them in person, they're really high quality. We'll see how it washes though, because that's kind of like where they always lose me. But I will say, all the House of CB items I own, like dresses, I get them dry cleaned only. So um, I would never dare put them in the washing machine. So that's what I got from House of CB. And the next thing I got was obviously a luxury purchase. So excited for this bag because. I got rid of so many designer bags, like all my Louis Vuitton ones, like, well, you guys know, I've gotten rid of a lot um, over the years. Yeah, I'm really trying to build a classic collection, a classic bag that I could really grow with. I'm getting older and I just want my style to be more refined and classy um, and just stay away from like the trendy, trendy stuff. So classic collections and although i love louis vuitton a lot i felt like their bags were just so out there for me and my style and how i dressed it never quite um it never like elevated my look you know what i mean so i'm trying to build a classic collection and i felt like dior was such a great choice i've done so many i've done a lot of research and some of my favorite luxury creators actually have this bag as well whether i got the patent a pop of color lambskin 
um, you're gonna have to wait and see. But also, I have another luxury purchase here that I got um, as one of my Christmas gifts. I'm actually really excited about this. It's the Louis Vuitton, um, I believe it's a niece. I used to have this, you guys, the tiny one, the mini, like the little, little one. I think it's the Nano. And then this is the BB, which I can use for traveling. I can't wait to do more traveling, and I'm just trying to get like that whole thing together. Yeah, I love this a lot. I, I, I saw this on, I don't know if you guys follow this Instagrammer. It's a Russian, I want to say Russian, I'm not sure. But her name's Elena. She makes these like cute videos. And I love her. She always puts her beauty stuff in this um, bag. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need that bag. So I added it to my Christmas list and I got it. And I'm excited. Um, it's so cute and lovely and big. And I just feel like it's such a grown up thing to own. It's very elegant and just classy and a really great place to start, I thought, in the luxury. Um, I only have two luxury bags so far, the Antigona, my Totem. This bag I just added to my collection. I really want to add another one for my birthday and it's going to be Dior again. I saw that bag earlier and I was like, it took everything in my soul not to buy two. But I'm trying to be responsible and not just buy stuff, but also put stuff in my savings and invest. So self-control <laughs> kick in. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here and I will touch base with you guys another day. And I'm going to make a luxury unboxing for this bag and do a what fits and, you know, the whole jazz. My luxury videos are coming back for sure, but responsibly, okay? Because in this economy, we need to be, you know, it's not the time to be buying this is just a treat because i was working hard <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you next week bye